Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Bubba Drip coming to you with another episode of uh, Flavoring It Up. Here today to talk to you about um, two recipes that are some of my older recipes, nothing that I really messed around with for a long time, um, but still pretty good. So if you're ever interested in, maybe you have, uh, I guess, e-liquid maker's block and you can't really think of anything, but you just wanna try something new, um, then these are two recipes that you're more than welcome to use. Maybe it can get you uh, maybe you could get your creative juices flowing to make your own similar flavor or tweak what I've made, um, which is, I'll start off with uh, the blueberry. I went for like a blueberry strawberry like bakery, with a blueberry strawberry flavor with like hints of bakery undertone to it, a little bit of sweetener. Um, so for that, I used TFA's sweet cream. I used uh, TFA's strawberry. I used Capella's blueberry. Um, I like Capella's blueberry because it's more of a sharp blueberry instead of like a smooth blueberry, whereas uh, TFA's strawberry is like a smooth blueberry. So I wanted a smooth fruit flavor in there and I wanted a sharp fruit flavor in there. So uh, Capella's blueberry and TFA's strawberry are definitely two that mix well together if you're looking for something like that. And then I also used uh, TFA's cheesecake graham crust for the bakery um, undertone that I was looking for. Um, so I'll go ahead and whip that up right now. Um, first I'm going to go with the uh, sweet cream, TFA sweet cream, which I used 5% in, which means that it's going to be about 1.5 milliliters in a 30 milliliter bottle. Go ahead and get that in there. Um, next I'll do the TFA strawberry, which I used another 5%, which is going to be another 1.5 milliliters. I'll go with the Capella Blueberry, which I used uh, 7%. Kind of wanted that sharpness of the blueberry to come out. So 7% flavoring in a 30 milliliter is gonna be around 2.1 milliliters. And then I'll go with the Cheesecake Graham Crust, which is a lighter flavor. So I had to bump it up to about I worked with between 13 and 15%, so I'm just gonna do 14% for the video, which is gonna be 4.2 milliliters, so I'm only using three millimeter syringes right now, so I'm gonna go up to three. And then I'm gonna do a 1.2. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest up with VG because I like a uh, thick e-liquid, like a high VG e-liquid. So fill the rest up with that. And then go ahead and shake it up real well. Like I said in my other videos, um, how I know that my e-liquid is mixed pretty nice in the bottle is where I can no longer see any of the lines that the VG puts in there when you start to mix it. That's looking pretty good. All right, so yeah, that's the blueberry, strawberry, uh, I guess you could say parfait is what I norm, what I originally went for. Um, it ended up being nothing like a parfait. Uh, I wanted to use the graham cracker crust, or well, the cheesecake graham cracker crust for the, I guess you could say like the bakery flavor that comes into a parfait with the walnuts and all that. Um, uh, like I said, you can use, like, I didn't really work out like I wanted it to, but that didn't discourage me any because with e-liquid, whenever you're going for something, you can substitute flavorings for some things that you cannot find flavorings for. Like where with like the, the walnut and the uh, almonds, I guess, like the nuts that are in the parfait, I needed to use something to substitute for that. So I thought that the cheesecake graham crust would work and it, like I said, it didn't, but it actually came out with a pretty awesome flavor um, and that is what's great about making e-liquid when you're going for something and you try it You might not hit what you're going for, but you could discover a great tasting e-liquid nonetheless And that's kind of what happened with that All right, and now I'm gonna move on to something I called not bad uh, It just I was messing around one day and I was like hey this actually isn't bad um, I used the cheesecake graham crust from TFA and I used the sweet cream from TFA 
in this e-liquid as well. Um, and then I also use the French Vanilla Deluxe from TFA and then TFA's Peanut Butter. Uh, as you can tell, I use a lot of TFA. I'm a big fan of TFA flavoring. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sweet cream again, which I also did another 5%. All right. And I'm gonna get the peanut butter, which I used 15 to 20%. Um, for this, I just went ahead and did like a 16%. Um, I messed around with the 15 to 20% in that area uh, just because I wanted to have a heavy peanut butter in it. So 16%. Comes out to about 4.1 milliliters, or 4.8, my apologies. I'm gonna go ahead and put the French vanilla in there. French vanilla I use about 7%. So it's about 2.1 milliliters. And then I'm gonna use the Graham cracker crust, which I did 15%. And that's about 4.8, or 4.5, sorry. And if you have a problem with uh, getting your percentages down to uh, milliliters, um, e-liquid calculator is always recommended on making e-liquid, just to make sure that everything is precise. I also, have this little brown book that you may have seen in some of my other videos. Um, I use that to keep all of my e-liquid recipes in. Um, it's always good to keep those. Uh, even if it's even, all right, sorry, I'm getting caught up. Okay, so every time that you go to make an e-liquid, there's a lot of, there's a ton of trial and error. Um, no matter what, even if it's a recipe that you don't like, um, I still write it down cross out an X through it, who knows, maybe one day you'll just go back and you'll see like, okay, so I put an X through this, means that I didn't like it, but let's try it again. Let's switch up some of the flavorings, let's switch up some of the percentages. I, you never really know. That's why, that's the great thing about e-liquid making, you never really know what's gonna come out of it. It could be terrible, it can make you throw up, it happens, it's just nothing to get discouraged over. So yeah, um, like I said, this is another episode of Flavoring It Up with your one and only Bubba Drip. Um, we'll be doing more of these. I know it's been a while since we've done another one, but we will be doing more. I'll be throwing more e-liquid ideas out there for you guys. Like I said, you're more than welcome to make the exact same thing or mess around with it. Don't forget that everything you see on this table, including the setup that I'm even using right now, you can get here at My Freedom Smokes. We got all your flavoring. We got all your tools. We got all your, we got gloves. We got syringes, we got pretty much everything you need to make e-liquid. Uh, you know us here at My Freedom Smokes, we like to be your one-stop shop. Go ahead and mix this up, and we're good. All right, I hope all you beautiful people have a wonderful day, and that's it for me.